bad cam. It was real bad. Just one poll. Those things aren't scientific. Yes, they are. All this is is science. This is math. But if you took it and put it on its axis this way, run through it one more time. The movie is about a congressman in a, you know, a small district in North Carolina. And he's been in office for several terms. And he's sort of resting on his laurels. And an opportunity is spotted for another candidate to possibly challenge him and win this time. And that's where Zach's character, Marty Huggins, comes in. My name is Marty Huggins. I'm running for Congress. Huh? Marty is a guy that's very happy with his life. He's a simpleton. His family has a name in North Carolina for politics. So he's handpicked only because of his last name. Are you trying to trash talk me? Cam Brady is a master of talking about everything and talking about nothing all at the same time. His big slogan, which it's not a slogan, it's just America, Jesus, and freedom. That's all you got to worry about. Our father, Art, who is up in heaven, aloe vera be thy name. The satire is pretty wild, but it's about the subject of money polluting politics, which is a serious, if not grave, problem in our political system right now. And there doesn't seem to be any way out of it, except by making fun of it. We're gonna be under a lot of media scrutiny. Anybody have anything that they wanna share with us? I went to the petting zoo and I, I let the goat lick my wall. John Lithgow and I play the Mach Brothers, and they are basically uh, people with a lot of money who can politically arrange for elections to be won or lost based upon support and maybe some dirty tricks in there. My opponent, Marty Huggins, works out at Curves. Where did you get that photo? Well, if there's a bad guy in the movie, I suppose I would be him because he just jumps sides and there are no rules for him. I mean, money is the only thing that's really driving him and the Mach Brothers hire me and they know that I know how to get the job done and certainly with Marty, he's unlikable and he looks like the Travelocity gnome. I come in and I give him Botox and I trim his eyebrows and make him electable. The focus group words that come up about you are odd, clammy, probably Serbian. That's an old You know, he changes all the exterior stuff, but in the end, he doesn't really change the one thing that needed to be changed the most for the machine, which was his heart. This might be hard for you to believe, but this dog, has a ton of thought in him. I find when I'm watching Jon Stewart or Saturday Night Live, I actually get perspective through comedy on politics. And when I'm watching real news, I just get scared. <laughs> so I think, in a way, comedy is the correct response to politics these days. And it might even raise some questions, you know, about how it's supposed to work. We've got some babies to kiss. Stop it! That's my baby to kiss. He just punched a baby.